Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning. We're just starting off just after half past seven. Looks like we're the last people out because people were leaving at quarter to six this morning. But um, that's our style today. <laughs> but it's an absolutely beautiful day. It's, it's not cold at all, which is really unusual for the mornings here. Not a cloud in the sky. So we've got about 25 kilometres to walk today. And when we walk out of Castro Jerez, a couple of kilometres down the road, there's quite a steep um, mountain to climb. And then you're not on the top for very long, then there's a really steep descent. So uh, we'll report back once we've conquered that thing. All right, Bye. see you later. Well, we've been on the road for just a little bit, a couple of kilometers. It took us nearly two kilometers to walk through Castro Jerez. It's a really, really, really long, on a ridge, one street town. Um, only one climb today, and that's coming up ahead. And it looks pretty daunting, I've got to admit. We've got to walk up on top of that mountain. And I think it's worse when you can see the road. And you can't even see the people walking up it. They're like little ants. Winding up the side <laughs> of the mountain. Yeah, so um, bring it on. <laughs> it's not unusual in the mornings to look ahead and there'll be 15, 20 people all in close proximity. It's amazing though, an hour from now and they'll be just all spread out. Everyone finds their own pace. So we're finding that some people are early leavers. They're leaving at quarter to six, but a lot of people are 7.30 leave the Albe Albegay people this year. Well, it's still dark at quarter to six. Yeah. So that's not good. Yeah, and where we stayed last night, they had their breakfast at seven. Um, and between where we're walking from and our next stop is about nine kilometers. So we reckon it's best to invest in some breakfast to get you going. Good morning again. We just walked up a bit of a hill. Uh, yeah, it's not that warm a day, but I gotta tell you, that warms you up. So we've just crossed a plateau from the big climb out of Castro Jerez, and that's what the meseta looks like. Just rolling, rolling, rolling fields. Like a patchwork quilt. We've never seen it in uh, at the end of summer when it's all browned off. I'm not sure what it would look like, but at the moment it's absolutely beautiful. But what comes up must go down, so we've got to get down there. And um, very steep. It's a bit of a steep down, so more later. So this is the bar Taku, which was the heavy metal bar that we'd seen a couple of times before, all closed up. And the advertisement made it look like it was renovated to not be heavy metal anymore. Yep, my how things change. But anyway, it's half 11 on, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday, really beautiful day. 
We're walking in shorts and t-shirts because it's so warm and um, it's been a beautiful day so far. Hello again, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. The last section we've walked about eight kilometers from Itara de Vago into a little town called Boadilla, which we're almost at. Have to say, it's been quite a hot couple of hours since we had our rest break. Um, you really, really need to make sure you've got cold water and cover yourself up um, from the sun. Um, but Every now and then you'll go into the shade of a tree and it's not actually that hot a day. It's just the sun and the walking, I think, that warms you up. But Lynn's managed to collect a few wildflowers along the way. So um, that's kind of what we've been seeing as we've been walking along. How pretty is that? Isn't that pretty? I love it. That's all the different things that are on the side of the road. Very pretty. We've been walking along next to the Canal de Castilla and just up here where we cross over to head towards Fremista, there's a series of locks to take the level down to the next section. So I think this means we're almost in town, which would be nice. Yeah, the water looks a bit grimy on this side. <laughs> 